Yeah, look, we, we pride ourselves on playing a very positive brand of cricket, you know, playing a fully committed game, really expressing ourselves and backing ourselves to play to go out and do the job and I just want to see us keep growing in that way. We've come a long way um, from the T20s, you know we did really well there. Um, would love to have won the tournament but obviously now we've got the 50 over stuff to try and go and win the silverware um, and just to play a very ex uh, expressive brand of cricket and to, to really enjoy ourselves. Well our squad to the T20s is very similar. Um, We've got Kelly Smith coming in just to cover for Christian Jonker so far. He's struggling with a little bit of injury, but we'll see if he can come through or not. Um, but otherwise, it's a very similar squad to what we had in the T20s. Um, David White's also joining us. He's been in some good form in the, in the one-day challenge, I think, in the EP side. So he's been playing nicely. So we've got a really good balanced squad. Um, so lots to look forward to. Yeah, look, it's uh, one of those things you dream of. Um, it was an unbelievable experience to be in the Proteas. Um, yeah, words can't really describe it, but it's a, it's a place where you want to play a cricket. It's an unbelievable atmosphere and hopefully I can get back there soon. Yeah, it's been very good uh, so far this season. Um, very happy with my performance in the, in the four-day comp. Uh, it's a pity that the team couldn't get, um, get over the line in the last uh, two games, but you know, I think it was Okay, so you've got to risk it to get the biscuit. Um, so we took a chance in the second last game against the Lions and it didn't pay off, it was a close game. We lost by 15 runs in the four-day game, which is small margins. Um, and against the Titans the last game, Heine played an unbelievable inning. So, um, yeah, it was, we're right in it to the end. Um, I made the decision uh, end of last year, in about October, really. Um, I just saw it as an opportunity to really grow my game. Um, I think most players would jump at the opportunity to play county cricket. Um, so for me it was, you know, personal growth, um, you know, and I don't look too far ahead. Um, I like to take things, you know, six months at a time. Um, don't, look, don't like to look too far ahead in terms of cricket. It's, you know, it's an unstable environment at the best of times. So. Um, I would say um, over the last couple of seasons I've worked hard on my one day game and um, I feel like I can play all the phases uh, of a one day innings pretty well now. Um, obviously, um, you know, being an opening batter, you know, the, taking my, on the power play in the first year is crucial in 50 over cricket. Um, yeah, I mean, as I said first, I mean, it sounds cliche, but just big performances and trying to, trying to help the Warriors win as many games as possible and hopefully we can uh, come there back into the competition and be in a place for, for a playoff or, or a final. <laughs>
and it was wonderful to have them and we're so grateful for these guys to be with us tonight. Yes, I found out a lot of things that were interesting today. It's, it's the stuff that I kind of like knew, but I think Neil Mac actually simplified it nicely with the bass and stuff because you don't even think of it as, like he mentioned about boxing and stuff. If you look at it, it's actually the way that it should be done. So he simplified it nicely, so it's something that I got to work with my kids on. Yeah, no, it's fantastic when you come out here. I mean, the, the coaches uh, who are looking after these games and these kids are, are the, sort of the real heroes. And um, I like to feel like if you can give them one tip, you're giving all the kids a tip so you know, that they're going to get, you know, week in, week out from their coach. So, you know, I like to encourage their coaches. Uh, you know, they're the real heroes here. And, um, you know, if you give them uh, you know, a bit of extra encouragement and, and a feel good factor, I think it goes a long way. Uh, as growing up as a young kid, you always, it's always nice to see people that you look up to um, and just to add a bit of knowledge and, and some, some, uh, some tips for the, for the young kids going forward and doing things for them to enjoy the game. so good because I've done a lot of work. He congratulates me on what I'm doing. So I feel so good. Okay, I was born in the East Rand uh, in a township called Fosleras. Um, uh, my parents are from Limpopo, uh, so they moved up to Johannesburg. I've got two older brothers, they were born on that side. Um, then when my parents moved here, they had me, I'm the last born of the three boys. Um, and yeah, uh, I grew up basically, I spent most of my childhood that side and then I moved after high school, two years after high school to Cape Town, just for cricket as well. It's, it's mostly people um, that really didn't really play the sport, just motivating me to just keep going because where I'm from, is, there's only like two guys that have made it professionally. Um, it's myself and Dumela Bodibe. I looked up to him as well growing up because uh, he was playing. Um, but mostly it's been just my teachers and, and school coaches that just took me through and just motivated me and most of all my parents. I've, yes, I've, you know, ever, like any other sportsman, you'll have like nickname bounce, get bounced off around you. Um, but just my, people couldn't really pronounce my, my name fully, they'll forget, it's easy to forget, so they just stuck to Seebs. So everyone just calls me Seebs, even, yeah. Ah, great bunch of guys, uh, great coaching staff. Um, loving the weather here as well, um, the windy city. Got family here as well, so it made, makes it even easier as well for me. And I'm really enjoying it here as well, and the brand, and the brand of cricket that they play as well. I've mainly played um, mostly in, like in the four-day campaign. I've played, uh, I, did, I missed out the first game. I played uh, batted more in top order. It's been a steady start for me, um, given the role that I've been given to bat in top order. Um, as, as being my, as my first franchise season, um, it's a big responsibility, which was, I enjoyed that quite a lot, uh, which actually took out the best out of me and to just put myself under pressure. Just uh, when you when you walk on the field, that that atmosphere of of uh, you can you can sense the competitive edginess from everyone, the willingness to just want to do well. I just like that competition of competing. I mean, as a sportsman, you got to compete. I like that. I like that. It brings out that uh, that side of me to be to be competitive and want to win at all times. So I really enjoyed that, and just just spending some time with guys that you work hard off off, off the field and you work hard on the field with. You spend a lot of time, you create bonds with guys and you actually learn a lot from a lot of people, even, even uh, outside of cricket. You learn a lot about yourself through other people as well, so that, that, that I really enjoy.
Yeah, it's been a huge, huge change. I mean, um, everyone tells you that things are going to be different, but um, once you've had a kid, but once you've had one, um, yeah, it's a lot different to what people say. Um, but as you said, uh, it's been unbelievable, as Jess says, it's been unbelievable. Scarlett's brought so much happiness to us. Um, every day has been un uh, really good. Um, and she keeps on making us laugh every day. So it's, it's really, at the moment, it's been unbelievable. And I'm sure it's going to get even better in the years to come. It's been wonderful. Um, we have enjoyed every minute of it. She's an absolute treasure. We, Anne and myself, we actually decided on the name just a few weeks before she was born. And, um, and then the night before I went into hospital, she, uh, we actually made the decision to call her Scarlett. And her second name is Diana, my mom's name. Yeah, it's an early morning wake up. Um, uh, that's those ones that I've got to get used to. Um, it starts around about half past five in the morning, uh, walking around. Um, Jess normally makes me coffee in the morning, which is quite nice. And then I've, I've got Scarlett for a little while in the bed. Um, and then I take her uh, for at least two or three hours, let Jess do her thing. Um, and maybe I, I take her around on the, in, in, the, in the, um, the pram and hopefully she falls asleep. Oh, without a doubt, it takes, any, it takes a cake over anything. Um, she, uh, the day I was, I was sitting in the, the theatre when she popped out was, was unbelievable. Um, uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry.